hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so basically i have come with the new topic new video so in this video we will see how we can uh, assign the security group how we can change the security group for the running instance uh, like existing instance which we have in aws so in future we want to uh, like we have created in a past we have created the instance and now we want to change the security group for that particular instance so how we can do this so we will see in this video and before i started i wanted to please to subscribe my youtube channel this is my youtube channel everything technical please subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification and if you have any query any suggestion related to the video so please do comment below the video so let's start with the video so here I am I have the two instance I'm having two instance in AWS so I want to change the security group so we can easily do this it is not necessary that instance is need to be a stop uh, a state should be a stop or running you can change it in any any state so like it's running or stop it is a state so if it is running so we can change the instance uh, following this option go into the action and in network option networking option we having option the change security group so so we can change the security group using this option so I just want to change the security group for this only t2.micro so I'll just check it I just want to make sure the Jenkins and test both uh, instance are, are using a uh, single security group or same security group so I'll just check the security group for Jenkins one so so using this option how we can cha check the security group so just check mark like let's just select the particular instance and go down in the description in the description we having a security group uh, security groups option so in security group it is a uh, sent to a seven so it is autogen so it is with updated vm so i have this security group i want to make i want to change the security group same as this security group for the tests so test have a default security group i want to change it with this security group centos 71 so i'll just select this this instance and i'll just use the option for the action and i'll go in change security group after clicking on security group we having this option security group so i am i have four security group one is default and seven is sent to a seven so i just want to change the same as the last one that uh, that jenkins security group so i'll just check it what security group have permission in this for this jenkins security group so i'll check the inbound rule so i have three options in this so I'll just select that one only so I'll just go back so I'll just go in gen test and networking again in security group so I'll just select this one okay so one thing we have missed what we have missed like we can check it because we are not sure which security group we are going to use so I'll go again I'll click over here if I'll click over here we are getting the ID security group ID so it's 7A3D I want to make I want to assign this security group for the test so go back so here action networking again change security group so <coughs> this is the security group which is uh, which are assigned to, which is assigned to the Jenkins one so I'll just uncheck this option default one and I'll check this option 7A3D so I'll just do this assigned security group so this is assigned and this is updated over here we can check it in description so the test also using the same security group as Jenkinson so both security group is same so using this following option we can change the security group if you're not sure make sure you're uh, just checking that particular security group and you are just getting the ID security group ID so through that security group ID we can identify which security group you are, uh, we are using for that particular instance 
so this is all about the security group changes uh, for the EC2 if you like my video please do like and also please subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching